I was a co op at Georgia Tech uh, in December the 7th, 1941, when the war broke out and Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. One day when I was walking home from my job, I noticed the uh, Navy recruiting station. The Navy recruiter had a sign that he had printed himself. I've never seen it advertised. It said, join the Navy, three hot meals a day. So I proceeded to go in and join the Navy. And I became a charter member of LST 357. <clears throat> My job was to take care of the navigational charts, to uh, keep a log of, of everything that, that took place everywhere we landed and so forth, which I have, and uh, take care of the uh, chronometer and the psychrometer and the, the weather vanes to, to, to determine uh, you know, what the weather was going to be and what the current is. And I had to take, uh, I did take terrestrial sightings. I took celestial sightings of stars, sun lines, and determine the latitude and longitude of the ship. All this was reported to the officer of the deck as he came in to take over the conning tower. And I plotted courses on the charts, and he would verify whether I did them correctly or not, which mostly I did. Well, the LST, when we went into the beach uh, about Two and a half lengths, we would drop the, the stern anchor. The, the, the anchor chain, the, the cable is 900 feet long. So we didn't want to lose the anchor, so we would make sure we knew what the tides were and, and we, we knew what the beach was like. And then we went to several ports all over the coast of North Africa. We went to Arzu, Mastagaman, uh, Oran. And finally, we proceeded to go to our uh, home port uh, Bizzerti, North Africa. It so happened that as we went into Bizzerti, the Germans and the Italians were leaving. They were flying out and we took shots at them. I'm not too sure whether we hit a couple of planes or not. Gunner's mate tells me we shot at least two, two of the planes down. These were guys that Montgomery's uh, was driving the, the uh, uh, Germans in toward Bizzerti there and Patton was coming in the other way. So that was our home port and we, we did our training uh, going into Tunisia uh, did practice landings there for the invasion of, of uh, the Crowd of Sicily. Now, uh, that was where we uh, made our first invasion. We were very fortunate in that the British were very, very smooth in trying to deceive the Germans on where we were going and fool the Germans into believing that we were going into Greece. So the Germans were vacating Sicily and it made it a, an easier invasion for us. Otherwise, I might not be here today. So we made about 18 trips, I guess, back and forth between North Africa and before we made arrangements to uh, go into uh, Salerno, Italy. When we go, went into Salerno, Italy, tried to get into the beach twice, but the German 88s up in the hills were so fierce that the beach master waved us off and we couldn't get in, so we went out and, and we, we, we thought we were out of range of the 88s and we uh, dropped anchor out there and uh, while we were out there, uh, shrapnel was coming down like black rain. Our ship's role was to carry uh, American troops into the beach at Omaha Beach on D-Day, June 6th. I think the Germans thought we were going to Calais or that we were going to go into another an invasion point because we made a turn 90 degrees like we were headed toward uh, Calais. And then uh, I guess uh, actually Hitler pulled his troops back to Calais and uh, it was on account of that and probably on account of a, a dummy uh, invasion by, by General Patton that we, were, uh, that we were going to hit Calais. But uh, we also uh, aided him in that and, and, and directed in our ship in that direction. So then we, we, we were directed straight toward the uh, the beach at, at Omaha. I wasn't on the beach, of course. I couldn't see the fighting there. But I saw a lot of ships and I saw a lot of guys floating in the water. There was a lot of people that were casualties on the beach, which we, our, our ship almost became a hospital ship carrying people back and, and prisoners too. And uh, so what, what we did, we, uh, we would load down with prisoners and, and wounded people and take them back to, uh, to England, Portsmouth usually. So, so we, we enjoyed uh, every trip that we made because uh, there was no time for any, uh, anything but uh, work. <laughs>